Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Slipper. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today, I'm going to show you what we sold on eBay over the weekend. We did have close to $1,500 in sales on eBay. Also, about $150 to $160 on Etsy, $40 on Mercari, and one thirteen dollar sale on Poshmark. So the reason I do these videos is so you know what to look for when you are out thrifting or at garage sales sourcing for items to resell. So let's go ahead and take a look at what sold. Up first is a Harry Carey statue. I actually picked this up at a church yard sale for $3. So it was still new in the box. And you can see Harry Carey there with his microphone. The box is a little beat up, but the statue's in great condition. So here is the actual statue. And it does say Liberty Mutual Insurance. This one I paid three. It sold for $58.49. So it's going to be about a $40 profit after fees. And it sold in about three months. The thing that sucks about this is he has his microphone and I did not know he did. So it was in the box in the styrofoam and whoever listed this for me did not take a picture with the microphone. So I thought it wasn't there and I priced a little bit lower. So I could have got more for it if I had known we had the microphone, but it still is a great profit. Up next is a vintage handkerchief. This one's really pretty with the two little purple daisies this one does have a one little spot here this one i paid a dollar it sold for 12.98 so it's about a nine dollar profit and it sold in about three months and then we have a harley davidson motorcycle pen so this harley davidson pen i paid a dollar this one sold for 36 so this was a really good sale about a 30 dollar profit did take about six to eight months to sell with all of my harley pins they didn't have backs and a couple people have asked me why i don't buy them because i had 600 of them and people still buy them they probably have other pins that they can swap those backs out for up next, I don't hardly ever sell children's clothing, but this is a cute little Disney pink velour little poo jacket. It's actually new at the tag, so I picked it up at the thrift store for $2. This one sold for $10, so it's about a $6 profit, and it sold in about two months. Up next are two little kitty cat figurines. So I actually, I got like eight or 10 of these. We grouped them by cats that look the same. So this little gray and white kitty, and this one is marked Japan. And then this little kind of tiger striped gray and black kitty. The two of these, I am about $2 in. They sold for $16 plus the buyer paid six in shipping. So these are going to be about a 10 to $11 profit and they sold in about three months. Up next are some Talbot's pants. So I pick up Talbot's when I find it for a dollar, I have pretty good luck selling it. It sells pretty fast, not necessarily high, but it's a great bread and butter item. These are just some khaki pants I paid a dollar for. They sold for $11.69, so they're going to be about a $9 profit. Up next is another vintage handkerchief. This one is a very pretty. It has a purple hydrangea on it. It does have a scallop edge. So those are keywords that I use to put in there. This one sold for $17. I paid a dollar. So this one's about a $14 profit. All right, up next is a sticker this is a big red soda sticker you can see it originally was 50 cent it is from the 1990s and this one i paid pennies for it sold for 648 so it's about a five dollar profit and then the second highest sale of the weekend, there is one that is quite a bit higher. This is a Swarovski snowflake. This is a Christmas ornament from 2005. It does say Rockefeller Center. This one sold for $168.34. I paid $50, so it's about an $80 profit. And this one did take about eight months to sell. Up next is a really cool teapot. So this is a Meriden teapot. Look at the detail on this pretty cool you've got the lions 
on the feet this one is marked there on the bottom this one i only paid ten dollars for and this one sold for 150 so this one's about a hundred dollar profit and it sold in about eight months up next is something if you don't know about these i definitely would learn i got these in a buyout so i didn't pay much these are wolford lamps and you can see there it's a glass oil lamp i actually picked three up this is the last one that i have so it's actually purple there from having been used before from the heat but it is in its original box. This one I paid less than five and it sold for $64.98. So this one's about a $50 profit. And you can see it does still have its original Wolford sticker there. So if you found these without the box, just look and see if you can find that sticker. Up next is a makeup palette. And this was from one of my BoxyCharm boxes. I get them every month. I only keep a couple of things. This is a Natasha Denona. This is a palette. And this one is brand new. I never used it. I don't wear eyeshadow this one sold for $27.50 so with boxy charm I only pay 30 bucks for the whole box and I just made $27.50 off of one item so this is about a $20 profit and it sold in under a week all right it was a handkerchief weekend we sold another vintage handkerchief this is a beautiful white linen one there's the detail on the corner. Very, very nice. This one I paid a dollar. It sold for $7.78, making it about a $5 profit. This one did take a few months to sell. And then a license plate. This is a license plate from Germany. This one I paid a dollar. It sold for $19.48, making it about a $14 profit. Sold in about four months. And then another boxy charm item that sold really fast from the same box. This one is called Cloud Jelly. And some of this stuff you might see at the thrift store. I have found health and beauty items like these for a dollar at thrift stores. So this one here sold for $16.24. So this one's about an $8 profit and it also sold in under a week. All right, this next sale is an absolutely great sale, but eBay screwed me over on this. So this is the highest sale of the weekend, but eBay switched it to free shipping. If you know me, I never do free shipping. I always charge the buyer. So I know I would not have put free shipping on these and eBay did. And they are actually the biggest and probably the heaviest item we're gonna have to ship. So it's probably gonna be a 30 to $40 hit on me and very very frustrating so the three of these were listed as a pair of two which i will show you and then the single one so these are vintage oriental bobbleheads they're called nodders I'm, i don't want to shake it too much but really really great detail on these i picked these up and there's the stamp on them i picked these up on an online auction i paid about 20 dollars. so this one as well as the other two that i'm getting ready to show you sold for 362 dollars they are going international so i think the free shipping that ebay is giving them will be me shipping to kentucky luckily not me shipping internationally and then the buyer had to pay from the ebay hub to them so let me show you the other two and the other frustrating thing is i told the buyer i did not want to combine them and ebay combined them so it's gonna be a pain in the butt to ship these what we're gonna do is we have pool noodles we're gonna raise these heads up a little bit and put pool noodles around the neck area to kind of support it so they don't break off and we'll wrap them and a ton of bubble wrap from American Bubble Boy that I always forget to say if you haven't checked them out you get four rolls of 250 feet of small bubble wrap delivered to you for like 40 bucks so you get probably four to five times what you would at Walmart or Staples for the same price all right here's the pair of ladies these pair of ladies face each other they are also bobbleheads as you see 
Again, beautiful, beautiful detail and artwork on these. These have that same stamp there on the bottom. So these two, as well as that other one, sold for close to $400. They are about a $250 profit. Might be a little bit less after we have to pay for shipping. So I could cancel this, but I have enough profit built in. I'm just going to eat it. And I need to check eBay regularly and make sure I don't have free shipping on anything because I don't do it. All right, up next are some Kansas City Chiefs. These are some coasters. I have three of them. I paid a dollar for these at the thrift store. They sold for $9.73. Buyer did pay shipping. So these are going to be about a $7 profit. These took about six to eight months to sell. And then another license plate. This is a California 1981 plate. This one sold for $16.24. I paid a dollar. So this one's going to be about a $13 profit and it sold in about four months. Up next is a little elephant. So this is a really cute little Lucite and Gold Tone elephant. It is signed LC. And this one sold for $12. I paid about two. So this one's about an $8 profit. Did take about eight months to sell. All right. Of all things, and I get stuff in lots all the time and I list what I find. This is just a curtain, just a single curtain. It is a red polyester curtain. It is 58 inches by 96 and it sold for $6. But I had pennies in, so it's about a $4 profit, but it's not breakable. The curtain's not gonna break. We'll throw it in a poly bag, off it goes, and get a little extra money out of a lot. Up next is a Harley Davidson purple shirt, very purple. Here is the back. It does say Harley Davidson motorcycle. This one I picked up at a garage sale. I paid five. It sold for $25.99 in under a month. So it's about a $14 to $15 profit. Watch out for Harley clothes, Harley parts. It all sells pretty well for us. Up next is another Harley Davidson pen. This Harley Davidson pen I paid a dollar. You can see it does have the official seal there on the back this one sold for $7.73 so it's about a five dollar profit it took about six months to sell all right I found this like this and a lot and I sold it like this I, I didn't take anything out I didn't research I didn't take off the old scissors I thought this was a cool piece just like it was and I sold it exactly like that. So this one, I paid less than a dollar. It was in a lot. There might be some money in this thread, to be honest, um, and some of these pieces, but there's a dressmaker guide. I don't know. I thought it was cute how it was. I left it. It sold for 15, so it's about a $10 profit, and it sold in about three or four months. There's even old, look, there's wooden spools, there's thimbles, there, there's all kinds of things in this. All right, coming up are a lot of Harley pens. These sold to three different buyers. This one sold to an individual buyer, the Eagle and the Bar and Shield. This one sold for $12.98. I paid a dollar, so this one's about a $9 profit. Sold in six months. Again, the Harley pens do not have back. So I bought these at an online auction. They were tacked up to a board, so none of them came with backs, and people will buy them like that. All right, up next, this is not a Harley pen, but it is a motorcycle pen. It is a pot leaf. It says live to ride, ride to live. It is unmarked. This one was in my Harley lot. I paid a dollar. This one sold for $16.23. So this one's about a $13 profit and it sold in six months. All right, up next is two Harley pens. Both of these are actually broke. Together, they sold to the same buyer for $18. So here is the first one that says Cowboy. And this one, you can see they had glued it to their board. So it has no pin backs. And then the other one is this one here. This is um, Lafayette, Louisiana. And this is another one that broke off. No pin backs. They still sold. Both of them sold in that condition. We just notated it for $18 for the two. So they're about a $10 to $11 profit and sold in about six months. All right. I picked up a ton of Longaberger fabric items. This is one of them. So this is just like a little bow tie that ties onto a basket. You can see it is new. It says handle tie small. Blue tick is the name of that fabric. This one sold in under 
a week for nine dollars and 74 cents i paid a dollar so it's about a six to seven dollar profit and it sold really fast all right, up next is the last item for eBay. And then I'm going to show you Etsy, Mercari, and Poshmark. So this is a brand, if you don't know it, I would learn it. The Bagalini purses, they're kind of like a nylon polyester. You can see this one is a cheetah print. It is in absolutely amazing condition inside. I picked this up at the thrift store for $3. And this one sold for $22.73. So it's about a $15 profit. It did take, I think, about three to four months to sell. All right, so everything that we sell on the other platforms, we sell using List Perfectly to cross post. I talk about it in every What Sold video because I've been using them for two years. Myself and Lynn, we are actually going tomorrow to a List Perfectly listing event down close to Tampa, Florida. When you watch this video, though, we will have already went. So we're excited to go meet up with the List Perfectly team and get to hang out with them for a night. So if you want to try List Perfectly to cross post, I have two videos showing how it works if you want to watch those before committing to signing up. And then I do have a coupon if you do decide to sign up. The Nurse Flipper, all one word, no spaces. You'll get 30% off of your first month. It can be any level of package, the lowest, the middle, or the highest. You'll get 30% off your first month to give it a try and see if it'll work for you. So let me show you what we sold on the other platforms this weekend. So it's funny because Poshmark was kind of going crazy for a little while. Now it's slowed back down. So the only thing on Posh is this license plate. This one sold for $11 on Poshmark. So it's actually only about a $6 profit because Poshmark fees are about 20%. All right, two sales on Mercari, both of them Wonga Burger items. First is this really cool Stars and Stripes. This is, you can see it says it, liner for a large picnic basket, all American print. This one sold really fast on Mercari for $20. I only paid a dollar, so this one is about a $15 profit. And then we sold this Wonga Burger. This is a bagel basket divider so it goes in it's a hard it goes in the bagel basket and it divides the bagels up this one sold for $19 also really fast over on Mercari and this one I paid less than a dollar for these as well I got a bunch of basket liners and lids and a lot and this one will be about a 13 to 14 dollar profit okay I can't say the name of this this gopher this is a groundhog day gopher is it a gopher a yeah a groundhog a, a whatever he is pot pot punxsutawney pennsylvania this is a little groundhog that comes up he sold for 40 dollars. i picked him up for two dollars at the thrift store there is the bottom of it so he's actually about a 30 dollar profit and he's sold in about five to six months all right, next is another pen with no backs. And this one sold for $40 on Etsy. So this is Cherokee Village, Arkansas. And you can see no pen backs. They are broke off. We did show that in our listing. Still sold for $40. This one's over a $32, $33 profit. All right, pillow sold for $40. Picked it up at Goodwill for $2. And it's a Christmas pillow selling in January. So take note of that if you have christmas stuff get it listed it sells year round so this is a beautiful poinsettia it's got kind of the velvet backing i paid two sold for 40 on etsy so this one's about a 32 dollar profit sold in about four to five months all right so that is everything I am happy to be back home and be in my own bed. We are excited to go hang out with Liz Perfectly. Don't forget every Tuesday at 8 p.m. we are live with our podcast asking and asking, answering your questions. And myself as well as Rod, our co-host, we have two different guests every week. So come and join us every Tuesday night. And also, I want to let you guys know, so... A lot of you might know already that my truck 
has been out of commission for three months since we went to Renninger's in November. It broke down on the way there and we spent a thousand dollars at the Mount Dora dealership, brought it back home here to Chiefland, spent a thousand dollars at this dealership and it was still not fixed. So while we were down in the Keys, we got a phone call saying they wanted four to eight thousand to hopefully fix it. So it could be a small relay they were wanting four thousand to fix something or eight thousand for a new transmission we decided to not do any more because we poured a bunch of money in so we went and traded it in so we got a new to us truck not not a new truck a new to us truck yesterday so brad can get back on his woodworking business but that means we now have vehicle payments for the business that i did not want to have because we paid cash for the other truck however this one we could not. So I am live on whatnot all the time. Now, if you haven't come and see me, I have jewelry. Some of it, there is room for resellers or if you're a collector or you want a gift for somebody, I probably most nights will be live on whatnot. I typically do it eight 8 30 because Dalton is back in school as of today so come and see me on whatnot if you haven't joined yet you do get $15 free I think you have a week or two to use that $15 so you do need to get something pretty fast or that coupon does expire but come see me on whatnot we're doing a ton of gemstones vintage pieces and most of it we start at five dollars so with that 15 you could possibly get three pieces for free and just have to pay the shipping whether it's for you or to resell so come see me over there i appreciate you guys watching i will see you on the next one